today's video I'm very excited about. We're looking at the Bosch GL L380 CG Plus BM1. It's a professional laser line thing. Let's open it. We've been using one for about, about a month now. It makes everything so much easier. Ooh. Comes a nice little bag. It's just a uh, normal material, it's not really, it's not padded or anything, so to me it should be a little bit more padded just to prevent any damage, because I'd say a lot of people would just take this and not take the whole box. The amount of tools people have these days, the space is a huge thing. At least they give you a case. Now the battery pack is a bit, I don't know, I really wish it was just a normal battery, but as long as it works it doesn't matter, but it just looks really flimsy. Why they make something like this? Anyway, it looks like it's meant to clip together, but I don't think it does. It's just like spring loaded and. Oh my god, what a piece of. I'm definitely getting a battery for this. Okay, well, let's put this in anyway. Okay, let's just see this. I've changed over batteries. So that part stays in there. How are you supposed to get this out? Anyway, that's a stupid battery setup. I don't know why you wouldn't just click these two, those two pieces together so that it looks like a normal battery and performs like a normal battery so you can pull out the whole thing. Alright, so straight out of the box we've mounted the attachment. It's got these little legs on the bottom that fold out. You also notice it's got female thread which fits most tripods and screw jack mounts um, and then you've also got the big one which, which usually these are used for the big tripods like the big laser levels sort of tripods. The legs out, it's a lot more stable uh, and then on the side here you've got a little winder so you can wind it up, wind it down. On the other side you've got a lock so you can wind it up, lock it in position so it won't move. Uh, you can also, if you don't want to use that winder, you can actually just move it up and down using a bit of force. It, uh, it actually moves pretty easy. So then we'll go from off position onto on in a locked mode. So in lock mode, it just projects a line, it won't be level. Every three seconds it will stop and start again. So it's just telling you that it's in line mode, so you could tilt it on the side. You'd do whatever you want with it, just to get a straight line. And then if we flick it over another one, it goes into level mode. So now we've got a level line. If I just tap this, you can see it jiggles it, but it straightens up itself really quickly, which is accurate to 0.2 of a millimetre over a metre. So every 10 metres your line will be within 2 millimetres. You want to try not to move it while it's in unlock mode because it will scream at you but it's also not good for your laser. Like that. Um, so we'll lock it and then you can move it around and do what you want. So then if we go to the bottom of here it's got laser at the bottom, Bluetooth on the left and then receiver mode on the right hand side. Receiver mode is also brightness. You can't notice it much here. It does dull off. So if we press laser again, it goes to the side one, and then the other side, and then it press it again, it goes to all three. All right, we'll go back onto level mode. Now these lines we've got here, those corners are perfectly square. That intersecting line is a perfect X. Uh, that's plumb, that's level, that's plumb. Within 0.2 of a millimetre. It's about three mil thick. That's exactly three mil thick there. Now I can't actually think of a job this wouldn't be useful for. It's, it's it makes life so much easier. It's it's small. It's bright. If you do find yourself outside and you can't actually see the line or it's very dull, some surfaces will absorb more light than others. You can just put something against it like a ruler that it would show up the line a lot more than something like say a jumper that's the material. Uh, so this is the other attachment we got with it. So it's a clamp. I've seen other ones of these, but they're usually... I thought this was adjustable in the actual clamp head, but it's only adjustable up and down. To me, this whole clamp needs to have an adjustment because I don't know what you're expecting to fit in that gap. I don't even hold 5mm on a ruler. And it just nips the edge. <laughs> so I, I honestly don't think I'll ever use this unless I'm clamping to a piece of paper or something like kind of useless. The laser shooting a line out on the door there 
if we just use these to tweak the laser we can gently move it up to our desired height like so so the top of that door you can you can't really see it but that's touching the door uh, and at the bottom of the door 15 mil off so that is why the doors open by themselves in this house alrighty let's just go quickly see how out of level at doors and corners and everything are it kind of ticks me off a little bit how bad things are but it's not my house you can see what people get away with when they just don't care let me set it up in the corner there you can see it's if we line it right in the corner of the plaster as she come up the wall it'd be nearly 10 mil it'd be 10 mil up here okay so we've got two lines going here one to that corner one to that corner this is why how people can still have jobs after this we are spot on the corner and as we follow it up it's like 15 we're nearly 20 mil it doesn't look like that on the camera but It'd be 20 mil off. You think, ah, oh, one corner. It's not that bad. We'll follow this line. This one is only nicking the corner by well, not even a millimeter. How do they still have a job? If you're gonna get one of these just to check how bad your house is, please tag me because I really want to see it. So I've just downloaded the app. Pretty simple. It just loaded straight into it connected apparently you can basically choose which ones you want to run this app sort of feels pointless there's not much else you can really do in the app so to be honest i'll probably get rid of this app i'm gonna go keep testing this out on all the other walls and corners and have a bit of fun if it were me i'll go get one i can't think of a job that it's not useful for like we pinged a line straight up the top level as it could be and we used to use a chalk line and flick it if you're thinking about it, just go and get one. If you want to know any more about this laser, if you want to see it working in action on the job site, let me know and I'll be happy to make another video. Not the cheapest at $600, but it's, I actually can't wait to use it. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you. Other than the uh, clamp and the batteries in the battery pack, it works fine, it, it, it does what it's meant to do. And it's, there's no point getting angry about things like this that um, I'll probably never use anyway. Uh, as for the battery pack, I'll probably go get another battery. Uh, I don't really like the AA setups. I'll probably keep this in here just in case, but I don't really want to keep that long term. If you want to buy one, I'll leave a link down in the description. They're pretty easy to find. You just type in Bosch laser and it's pretty much one of the first things that comes up. I always sort of looked at Bosch as being a Bunnings cheapo sort of brand. But if you look at them up, it's actually made in Germany. Uh, it's not cheap at about $600, but I think it's well worth the investment if you're going to use it. Also, don't look into the light because it's actually pretty bad for your eyes. I think that's it. If I've left anything out, let me know and I'll uh, either do another video or get back to you. I'll uh, catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Oh my god. I'm just sitting here and then. And back on this out like 15 mil. Touching at the top. Like 15 mil at the bottom. I, I'm, I'm living in like the leaning tower of Pisa, but 